Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. Our next live stand-up show is Thursday, January 24th at the Sycamore Tavern in Hollywood. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for tickets. Jimmy Dore and friends. I have special guests with us today. It's the new vice chair of the California Democratic Progressive Caucus. It's Mark Van Landewood is with us. Hi, Mark. How are you? Greetings, Jimmy. And uh, it's the uh, Northern District's okay, uh, Progressive so you're the Caucus vi- vice chair. You're the vice chair of the Northern District's Pro- Progressive Caucus. That's right. All right. Woo. All right. Woo. Well, that's Quite nice, though. So, so in now, politics, the longer the title, the less the power. So <laughs> yeah. now you are... Um, down here in now you're from San Francisco area. That's right. And you're down here in Los Angeles. And what are you here for? So I'm here to tell everyone to make sure that they know there's an election coming up. Oh, really? There's an election coming up, and your vote is going to matter. Now I know that's a cliche that comes that that, that happens every election season, but this time it's really true. In this election, your vote is worth like a thousand times more than it's worth in a primary or general election. So this is the in, inter intra party. Uh, election of the California delegates to the, right. to the party. Now we did this two years ago after mm-hmm. Bernie ran, and we all got inspired. So it was it's, it happens in January, and we went and we voted in, and the progressives showed up on en mass, and they voted in uh, more progressive delegates than corporate delegates. Right? That's and, right. But turns out there's also we thought we took over the party in California. We thought we had taken over in the bluest of blue states. The progressives thought we took over the party. But what happened? So the California Democratic Party has a super delegate structure inside it. In the state party, has in their the own state party, they're called appointed delegates, hmm. and uh, they are one third of the total delegates. Now I have a resolution going forth in the May convention to try to reduce appointed delegates, but. That's for the May election. That's for those people who get to be elected ADEMs. But the elections that are coming up, they're happening uh, two weekends in January, uh, January 12th and 13th and January 26th and 27th, depending on where your district is. So these are the ADEM elections. So what does the ADEM stand for? So ADEM, it stands for like uh, Assembly Delegate Elected Member. I, okay, there you it, go. But essentially what it is, it is your local representative to the California Democratic Party. Okay. So why is that important? So the ADEMs, they control the platform. They control the agenda. ADEMs control who gets endorsed and who doesn't get endorsed. And this May, the ADEMs are going to choose who the next chair of the California Democratic Party is. So why is that important? So that's a big deal. It is a big deal. Because the California Democratic Party is more powerful than the DNC. So the California Democratic Party, we bankroll the national party all across the country. We, we, even more so than New York City. Really? Yes. And so now, you know, we, the party needs to be more than just the ATM. We have to start leading with a progressive agenda. The party has to be more than just money? Has to be more than just money. Okay. And the only way we do that is that we have our people in, progressives in, into the party, so we can set the agenda. So California is like the pace car yeah. for the rest of the nation. Yes. So if we're lagging behind, if California is lagging behind, that means the rest of the country is lagging behind. Right. So so you want people who are Democrats mm-hmm. to show up to vote for progressive Democrats as their delegate to the Democratic Party. Yes. And, and that happens this weekend, the 12th and 13th of January, and also the 26th and 27th, correct? Depending on your district. So everybody go to ADEMS.vote. ADEMS. ADEMS. dot vote. ADEMS. dot vote. We'll put it. Well, and so even if you're not a Democrat, so if you're independent, no party preference, or if you're Green Party or Peace and Freedom, or even even if you're Republican, you can register Democrat on that day to vote, and and uh, you know you can do anything you want afterwards with your registration. But as long as you're voting for good, strong progressives, check the ADEMs dot vote, see who the progressive slates are. It really matters because inside the California Democratic Party, you have delegates who are totally cool with endless war, who are okay with people not getting health care. They're okay with workers not getting a living wage. These people have to be wiped out. And the only way we do that is if we show up and vote, if progressives come out in mass and vote for the progressives. So uh, we, again, we did that uh, two years ago, 
And then because the Democratic Party is so corrupt, they also have super delegates on the state level, mm -hmm. and they were able to steal away the chairman of the Democratic Party position from, from the progressives. Now, the last time the, the progressives were pushing Kimberly Ellis. So uh, hopefully this time it will be someone else. So there's going to be a lot more people that are going to be in the race this time. Um, I think Kimberly is going to be the front runner, but there's other people coming in. There's other, uh, Daraka Laramore Hall, who's the vice chair. There's rumors that Kevin DeLeon is going to run. Rumors that Cap Brooks might run. All of these interesting, very interesting I'm characters. I'm no matter who, no matter who's running, we as progressives have to know what we want from the chair. So we have to have a list of demands, and we have to get whoever we're going to get behind to, to pledge and commit themselves. To uh, to what we want to see the party do. Okay. Well, I just went to uh, the website. I wanted to look at the ADEMS.vote, vote. and I wanted to look up my district, and I was able to look up my district, and I see that it says, I, I believe I'm District 14. Uh, no, excuse me, 41. And you know what I like? I see this great flyer, and it says, People over profits, Medicare for all, Green New Deal, mm -hmm. affordable housing and rent control, tuition-free college and lower student debt, immigration reform, criminal justice reform, living wage. And I'm also able to see the candidates that are running for this. And so these are the Democrats for Justice. So they're running together. Is that what I should that understand? That is right. They're all running together, so vote for them. Also, you'll be voting for an e-board member. So you may have to you know, vote for a certain person twice, one for ADEM, one for e-board. Uh, not to get too confusing, make sure that you're voting for the strong progressives. So in 2019, we're going to be pushing for a Green New Deal. We're going to be pushing for public banks. I'm going to have a resolution that's going to have it so that the California Democratic Party takes no money from the military industrial complex. We're going to be voting on reducing the appointed delegates. All of this stuff matters. All of this stuff is important. And so please, please make sure that you come out and make sure that you bring five of your friends, your family members, your enemies, bring them all out so they're voting January 12th, 13th, January 26th, 27th. And so I really have to go to this website to look at who the progressives are. Absolutely. And, you know, the last time we went to this event, it, w it, it wasn't really conducive to communicating people's platform. There right. was kind of like this, like, uh, people would just show up and speak when they were able to. And, you know, I felt like I was uninformed when I went. So this really is something that you have to be informed before you go and cast your vote so you if you do go, and so i just you go to vote uh adems adems dot vote mm -hmm. and then you put in your address and then it tells you what district you're in and it tells you where to go vote right that's right and so i time? have to go all the way to freaking claremont so they do this on purpose now the people in uh -huh. district one those poor folks have to like some of them have to have to drive seven hours to get to their polling location. That's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. So here's the thing with and ADIS. that's by design. It is by design. So for the longest time, the party has tried to keep these elections secret. Mm -hmm. So this used to be just an incumbent protection racket, right? So so it's to keep the incumbents to keep their endorsements from the party going, uh, you know, term after term. So uh, and in 2017, they didn't see us coming. And that's why we were able to sweep across the state. This year, they see us coming. And they've been organizing. And, and uh, there's been a lot of big money interests that have been helping organize some of these slates against progressives, particularly in the Central Valley. You know, the usual people like uh, PG&E and AT&T. So they know the importance of these delegates and the power that they have over the party. So that's why we need to come out full force, full force. Okay, so all this energy. Uh, uh, oh yes, so let's. So I, I will do it again. I will do this. Uh, uh. I'm going to get out of bed and I'm going to drive, freaking thirty minutes or whatever, however far it is. It's about Claire, an hour. About an hour mm. to Claremont, so we could go vote. Freaking hour. So, um, but all this energy could so easily be used to. You know, people say, oh, it's so hard to form a third party, you could never win. You don't need to win with a third party. You need to have 5 or 10% of the vote. So then the Democratic Party needs you to join them in a coalition government so they can at, then get power and win at the ballot box and B, have power so they could pass legislation in the House. So you don't need 
to win. You don't need to win presidency. You don't need to win. You need to have five to 10 percent polling of your party. And then you have real power. Um, Bernie Sanders had 13 million, 13 million people on his mailing list. That's a third party right there. So but this that's not so, what this is about. So, Jimmy, I would say that the progressives inside the party, ostensibly, we are the third party. Yeah, I know. That's why. Yeah. But I, I get it. Yes, we are. Uh, and we're so, winning. But here's what I want to tell you. The progressives, we are winning. <laughs> so the Medicare for All caucus in the Congress, we've got over 70 members now. And in terms of putting the Green New Deal, that's on the, that's on the national agenda now. We're winning. We are winning. The world. Be part of this victory. Adems.vote. Come out and vote these two weekends. Be part of this victory. Be part of this victory. That's right. So I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm going to go vote for progressives to take over the Democratic Party. Gavin Newsom Mm -hmm. uh, does not seem like a lost cause. No, he seems like he you could actually pressure him to get stuff done. And that's what we've been doing. You could pressure him to get Medicare for all and free college. I have a feeling. So the progressive the progressive caucus, we are. The uh, we're the caucus of troublemakers. Yeah. Sometimes we're derisively called the Bernie caucus. Yeah. The progressive caucus is the largest caucus in the California Democratic Party. And we have been pressuring Gavin and all these politicians on our issues. Medicare for all, uh, living wages, Green New Deal, criminal justice reform. We've been we've been very successful. Yeah. And, uh, and for those people, uh, you don't have to be a delegate to be part of the Progressive Caucus of the California Democratic Party. So if anyone wants to join, it's the most fun. It's the only caucus in the party that doesn't suck. That's, that is correct. <laughs> so you can show up. If you're not a Democrat, you can register right there that right day, there. and then you can vote. And then, of course, you can go and do whatever you want from there on out. You that's don't right. have to be a Democrat. You don't have to do any of that stuff, right? So that's the beauty of democracy. All right, Mark Van Landwitt. By the way, congratulations on you know, becoming vice chair of the Progressive uh, Caucus of the Northern District. Yeah, but- <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, if people don't know, you've heard his name many times. Mark uh, produces and uh, edits the uh, the podcast and the radio show for us. And uh, he also writes uh, a lot of the great uh, rants I used to do on uh, the Young Turks in the 2016 election. And um, so, uh, and Mark writes a lot of stuff for a lot of uh, politicians that you mm-hmm. might hear, so... Uh, this show is one of my great pleasures. Uh, thank you, Jimmy, for being such a strong voice, and let's beat the bastards. Okay, <laughs> let's beat the bastards. Go to voteadems.vote, A-D-E-M-S dot vote. There's a link right there. All right. Our next live show is a stand-up show. We're doing Thursday, January 24th in Hollywood at the Sycamore Tavern. $10 tickets Thursday, January 24th. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all of our live shows and to find out when our live Jimmy Dore show is coming to your town. Plus, if you can, become a patron. We give you hours of bonus material every week. And remember to make sure you're subscribed. They unsubscribe people. You Make sure you're subscribed. Click the bell so they send you a notice when we drop a video. Thanks for your support.